about getting a puppy, already have a puppy. Watching these videos built up so much excitement for me before we got little Mochi. Also genuinely, these videos were my main way of pretty much preparing a checklist for getting my puppy. So this is little Mochi. I love you. I love you. He's a long-haired, eight-week-old Minter Jackson in the color shaded cream. That was a bit of a mouthful. I have a whole like puppy pickup vlog on my channel. If you're interested in seeing that and you haven't already, he is in a very playful mood right now. We're gonna have to bear with, but hopefully he'll just settle down for a nap. For those asking, he has been settling in so well. It is so sweet that he knows like we are his new parents. I think it will be beneficial to be able to talk about how he's actually like responded to everything, what he likes, what he doesn't like, what I think was a bit of a waste of money. Majority of the stuff I have is either from Pets at Home or Amazon and I'll try have as much as I can linked below in the description bar. Also let me know in the comments below if you are maybe getting a puppy, starting with a big one bedding. So this is like the main bed we got from Mochi. This is just from Pets at Home. It's nice, it's great, it's neutral. He's looking at me like, Mom, what are you doing with my bed? The main thing I was looking for with this bed was that it wasn't like too much of a jump for him to get up on into it. It's just really nice quality, really soft, and I'm pretty sure it will still be a good size for when he's full grown. Next up, we have his crate. So we got the extra small crate from Pets at Home in the color gray. It's a nice kind of colors. It doesn't look like a metallic cage. So over his crate, we just put a wee white blanket. It just makes him feel a bit cozier and secure at night. The crate is definitely a bit big for him, but it is the smallest size available at Pets at Home at least. He's been doing okay with crate training. Like he does cry a lot in the night, but does always manage to fall asleep. Then inside the crate, I just have this like white fleecy mat on the bottom just for extra like comfort. This was like eight pounds from Pets at Home. Again, the puppy section, it fits perfectly inside an extra small crate. I have a self-heating pad. Honestly, don't know if it does much, um, but again, it's just like an extra layer. And then we just put in like various blankets. I have these two blankets with little cute paw prints on them from Pets at Home. These were really affordable. So if they get destroyed or if over time they just get really gross, then you know, you're not breaking the bank by replacing them. Something we've added to his crate because a couple of friends recommended that we do this is just a hot water bottle. So I have it in this like fleece pouch already and then I wrap it around a blanket. Since they're so used to sleeping with their brothers and sisters, I find this actually does help with just keeping him a bit more peaceful at night. Let's talk about blankets. So I just got this cheap fleecy blanket from, where was this, from Home Bargains. I think it was about five pounds. It's actually throw, so it's really, really big, but it's good for like putting on the sofa. This is basically just like his big blanket. Then he has two other blankets. These both were actually from his breeder, so that's really sweet. One had one had like the breeder's daughters scent on it because he apparently bonded with her, which was, oh, was so cute. And then the other one has the scent of his litter on it. I absolutely love this one with the little sausage doggies on it. They have both been washed, so they don't have that scent on them anymore, but he has settled in really well. Then the last kind of bedding thing I have to mention is his playpen. And let me tell you, I'm really glad Glad we got this. When I first mentioned like getting a playpen, Will was like, no, we don't need that. Like that's something you get for a baby. We need it. It's insanely useful for when we are both working and we don't want to just have him in a crate all day. He is still too young to let him just like roam around. He doesn't need to be supervised like literally all the time. There are babies. And he's made me realize I'm not ready for a baby. <laughs> but I love him so much, you're so worth it. So in the playpen, we'll just put down like all his blankets put some toys. We've tried putting down puppy pads, but I think he's only used it like once in the playpen. So I try just take him out and put him in the garden. The playpen we got is from Amazon. I knew I wanted to go for one of the like fabric ones that is foldable. The next section is food. He is so food motivated. When it comes to feeding time, I'm trying to get him to sit, paw, lie down. He just freaks out because he gets so excited for food. Paw, good boy. <coughs> lie down, lie down. Lie down, stay. It's really cute, but it's also like, watchy, calm. So this is the main food that we feed him. This is literally just the food that the breeder gave us. The breeder also gave us a bag of raw meat. He's giving me his paw because he thinks I'm gonna feed him. Let's talk food bowls. I swear everybody has these food bowls from Amazon just with the silicon base. This set is like 14 pounds and it just saves your floor getting filthy. I've heard that some dogs don't like these like metallic food bowls because they can see the reflection. He's not fussed. He honestly just wolfs down his food every single day. If you're good, just sit. 
Okay. I knew as soon as I brought the treats that you wouldn't sit there for long. Four different kinds of treats. I bought these ones at first. The Wainwrights Dog's Best Friend Turkey and Rice. Meant for puppies. I've just read online that these ones are really good for them. It just has on the back like, the different ingredients and why they're good. But these are way too big for him so we have to break them up if we're going to give them to him. Next, I got these Lily's Kitchen Puppy Chicken and Salmon Nibbles. He really likes these. I mean, he, he literally likes anything. He likes grass. Like, I can't get him to stop eating grass, it's a bit scary, but I know dogs do that. It's not fussy, is what I'm saying. But these are really nice because they're soft, they're small, they're easy to break up, it's proper meat. He really likes them. Okay. What's this? Huh? Pop? I'm gonna pop a treat in his Kong, so he has to work it out. Go get it. Then he has two flavors of the WAG treats. My friend Emmy, she's actually on YouTube. She sent me an adorable little goodie box and these were in there. She has a sausage dog as well. And she says that her doggy absolutely lo loves these ones. So these are the cookies. Peanut butter and banana flavored ones. They are really big, but they're super easy to break up. See, you gotta make them work for their food. Here we have more wag treats. These are the puppy and junior ones in the flavor chicken and yogurt. Next, I have some doggy safe peanut butter. I believe this has just like no salt in it, no wheat, no added sugar. This is a godsend for sticking it into like his Kong or we have a lucky mat. I'll get into that in a second. Oh my goodness me. If you're busy and you just want them to like occupy themselves but you know they're gonna be safe, just like doing what he's doing right now. Peanut butter is your best friend. I'm so glad we got this. It was like two quick and pets at home as well. I also got some of these Venta Chubos like, puppy friendly chewy sticks. He's gonna be teething and this stuff's good for that. I haven't bought like a toothbrush or toothpaste for him or anything but I've heard lots of people using these greenies. They're just like little dental treats. But the thing with these that I didn't realize, you can't give them to puppies that are under six months. I want to them until the time comes. What he's going absolutely mental for is his Kong. I also got him this licky mat. The normal licky mats at Pets at Home were sold out. And so Will spotted this one, which has these like little suction bits on it. And essentially, this is quite smart. So if you're giving your dog a bath, you can stick this to like the wall, put some peanut butter on it or yogurt or something and think that is dog safe. And they'll just go to town on this, keep themselves distracted. This is again, a godsend. If I am busy cooking or something, or again, I'm busy working and he wants attention, he's not in the mood to nap or anything. I stick one of these down, put some peanut butter on it and it genuinely will keep him entertained for about 20 minutes, which is great. These two things are helpful for travel. Not that he's going on walks yet. This will be good when we go out for like longer walks. This is a bit bougie but it is a dog water bottle. Basically just fill it up with water and then you can press this button to let it out and they can just drink up from here. So I brought this when I went to pick him up. Good thing about these is, and the reason why like everybody has these, they're from Amazon by the way, is when you press the button again it sucks back the water that they didn't drink so you're not wasting water. This is just really handy for even if we have him out in the garden and he actually does a little poop or you know does something good this is a treat bag and it was like two pounds from pets at home so we can just keep the treats in there this will be essential when we go for walks next section is grooming an essential to have is obviously shampoo i was kind of like oh i don't know how often we'll bathe him but no we've had him for a week and a half and we have already bathed him twice because he's had a messy accident at 3 a.m and I've had to bathe them at 3 a.m. But this shampoo, I was gonna say makes it worth it. I don't know if that is completely true, but it makes it a lot better. This is in the scent Baby Fresh. This literally smells like babies. It smells like a talcum powder. It comes out that really broody side of me. Already obviously has that natural puppy smell, which if you know what smell I'm talking about, it's like, Oh, and I have to give credit to Fab Han. She did like a huge Puppy Essentials haul and that is where I got so much of my inspiration from. Also have this shampoo from Pride and Groom. This does smell really nice. It's a lot more affordable. I'm pretty sure this was like two quid or something. It's in the scent Peach and Mandarin. And then we have deodorizing spray. These are meant to be used like in between washes. We have this one in the smell Puppy Fresh and this one which is in just an aloe vera and tea tree oil scent. I haven't used this one on him 
just this one. I am obsessed. You can get this on Amazon or Pets at Home. Something we're trying to get him used to is just brushing him because he does have long hair. I just got this grooming kit. This is actually meant for puppies and kittens, so they are just like a little bit smaller. What I do is just spritz some of this puppy fresh on it and then I just brush him with it. Sometimes he likes it. Majority of the time, you'll just bite it. These I really recommend, especially for like the journey and when you're picking up your pup, just in case they have an accident in the car. Luckily, Mochi didn't. They're basically just like dog friendly wipes. Last thing I'm gonna talk about in this section is just this microfiber towel. Again, got it from Pets at Home. I don't have too much to say about it other than it does the job. Let's talk about your other favorite section, toys. The main thing with toys is just that you're getting like different textures. So I won't show you every single toy, but I'll just talk about like the main differences between them. This is one that serves a bit more of a purpose. So a clicker in there that produces a heartbeat. So so many people get these for their puppy. Apparently it just keeps them calmer on the ride home or in their crate. It does hump it a lot, so. I assume that means he likes it. This is Coco, he loves Coco. Again, mostly to hump Coco. He does absolutely love Coco. My mum actually gave him this. It's just a toy she's had for like years and it's quite sweet. Then it's good to get like rope kind of toys. Pretty sure these are from Amazon. Our breeder told us that he really likes crinkly toys. We've got toys that are mostly just like funny for us. We've got balls. He's finally managing to pick up balls in his mouth. I love this little ropey sausage dog from Sainsbury's. Teething toys are a good idea. This is from the puppy section at Pets at Home. This is Schlong. This is from Cherries, so it was ordered online. When I first opened the box, I was like, Damn it, it's so huge. I was like, I thought it would be way smaller. He's gonna hate this. Genuinely, one of his favorite toys. Just got a bunch of these like nice soft toys. Bone, this is just great for chewing. Let's talk about the toilet. Something we've been struggling with quite a bit. So don't come to me for advice. In fact, please give me advice. <laughs> I just got him one of these little like poo bag holders. So we did get a bunch of poo bags, puppy pads, from Pets at Home. This is something I really recommend for when they have accidents in the house. It's this extreme stain and odor remover. It helps prevent repeat markings. The last section is travel. So I'm gonna talk about things like his harness, his lead. Now the thing with harnesses is that he is ridiculously tiny. So we literally couldn't find one that fit him. So I did buy this one before we got him from Pets at Home. I think this is an extra extra small. It's really cute, it's great, and it's fluffy on the inside. It has these little hoops, so it's nice and secure. This did not fit him when we first got him, but this is how fast they grow. It's a week later. I literally just out of curiosity put this on him this morning and it fits. I will be getting him like a nicer harness and collar with an ID tag once he's older. I also have this lead. This is just from Amazon in this like bluey gray color. This was really affordable. So this is just like a beginner lead I went for. I know it's best to go for like these metal clasps just cause they are a lot stronger. Then I'm not gonna be the kind of person who dresses up their dog. Like I'm really, really am not interested in it. But the thing with Dachshunds is that cause they're so close to the ground, they do get chilly. And since he's so small, like he can't really regulate his body temperature, I believe. So I made him a little jumper and I got this hack from, again, my friend Emmy, who has a sausage. So you just like cut up an old fluffy sock, put in little holes. And yeah, this just makes a really cute little jumper for him. It's really cold outside. We'll just pop this on him. The last two things were almost there. I got him a seat belt restraint, which is basically just like a seat belt harness. You attach this to one of the seats of your car and like their harness, never attach these to their collar because if you have an accident, it'll pull on their neck. Then the last thing and to be honest this is probably one of my regrets because we didn't even use this when we went to go get him i kind of knew i wasn't because i just wanted to hold him on my lap and when he's older i think this will be too big for him but i guess it is just handy to have a carrier hello this is me once i finish the video uh, but i'm just inserting this now because i forgot to mention this this is something really handy that we got him because he's not had his vaccinations like i mentioned still have been going out for just like short walks with him to go get coffee or just like walk around our neighborhood. And so this is very extra, but I've gotten him this like sling. It was like 15 quid off of Amazon, just like a baby sling. I know you could just carry him around in a blanket, but this feels a lot more secure and it is really cute. I got this photo with him in it and he looks adorable. Say bye Mochi Moo. Say bye. Are you tired? It's nap time.
Yes. So that's all I have to show you. It's quite a bit, I'm not gonna lie. We ended up getting way more than I anticipated. But yeah, I hope if you're getting a puppy, hopefully you enjoyed this video. So yeah, stay tuned for seeing how he grows in my videos. And thank you for all your lovely messages. So anyway guys, sending you all my love. Stay safe, be kind, and I'll see you in the next one.